Welcome back to the channel, Super Snails. This is part two of the only relic section. I forgot a few things. It was a pretty long video, and I was just like, after I was done, I was like, ah, ah. There's a couple more things that I could have talked about. Uh, one is this section right here, which I, I started to actually begin to speak about it, and then, yeah. <laughs> and then I started talking about something, how important something else was, and then I was just like, oh, I forgot to go back to it. And this all happened as I was editing the video. I was like, damn it, how do I how do I fix this? Uh, do I just re-record and put myself in there? I was like, nah, fuck that. I did say part one, so I can excuse myself by putting it in part two. Um, the importance of this section, this this is you might as well just call this the awakened section because everything here is like um, if you have like a relic that you awaken and you have yet another one. Uh, they, they could pair together and give you an added bonus, which is like really, 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 really good. So uh, here you can just pick like your, your obviously your tiers, right? Here you can pick your sets. So six sets currently is the max. So uh, if you awaken at like six of them, you'll get a bigger, a, a, a bigger bonus than, uh, than something with a five or a four or whatever, or it, you know, so yeah, so let's just go with this one because this one's currently available. So this is your overall. So if you get these two, you get the 600 HP. And if you click on this one, this one's going to give you the awaken bonus of troop 280 per 30 mechas, right? Okay, fine. So if you go here, it also gives you your snail defense plus 70. Another thing I tend to do is when I go ahead and do these combos, these um, these what are they? these sets, right? Uh, I, I can come here to this last bubble right here, and I, I usually ex exhaust the home building and the gene evolution because these two for me are the most important. I, I, I preach economy quite a bit because I really, really love to be... Okay, um, if you guys if you guys today gave me a million dollars, I wouldn't spend it on frivolous shit. I would actually go and buy like 10 houses <laughs> you know what i'm saying i'd buy like fucking 10 houses or whatever however many i can afford with that money and i would create assets for myself so that i wouldn't have to work and so that that money works back for me and becomes two million in a year three million in three exactly you know so on and so forth right so for me the importance of of uh, the whole home building is that it's economy so it's it's increasing my output of white tabs uh, tadpoles black tadpoles um wood etc everything right so if i if i come here lumber whoo, first one uh, uh, 40 percent uh, <laughs> then you if you come over here for the, the the max cap which is not important um and uh the hp which again is not important but um this is where this is where things start to get a little iffy right because let's just say you'd like this lumber output and let's say let's see this one this one camp produces ancient wood right let's see what if, if this one's better than the other one this one gives you exploration b tabs right so this one almost is better than the other one just because of the other two I, you know i could just go like this <laughs> um this one gives me output right which is which is better output wise but this one's giving me max cap so i'm not really i'm not impressed about the cap because for the most part you use your 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 speed ups, your tr your time travel speed ups. You you just will, and if you don't, and you're hoarding for three sixty five with like that one guy on Reddit, cool, I guess, <laughs> whatever. <laughs> but that, I'm looking at a thousand HP, and I'm like, okay, a thousand HP is like that's not economy, and the max cap is not economy, though it kind of is, right? It's just it's increasing how much I can hold, but it's not increasing how much I can produce. This is increasing how much I can get from the lumber uh, camp. But this guy right here is also giving me tabs, uh, tadpoles. And then this guy right here is giving me, ooh, ooh, wee. <laughs> travel intel, right? So if I had to prioritize between this one and this one, this one is better. So I would go ahead and find the shards for this one. And I shard, assuming we have all the shards, right? Assuming we, assuming we have um, this to 6S, this to 6S, um, 6 star, 6 star six star six star exact you know and and then if we come over here time machine this one's pretty good let's see this is a this is a three set so now this is really good this is giving me pond output right this one's giving me free gene mecha oof, oof. 
starting to get nasty. Ooh, and it's giving me attack. This one clearly is just better. Um, it's not. Get, it's giving me a chance to generate time chest, which isn't giving me like more more time uh, generation, but it's giving me like more economy because it's giving me one, it's giving me two, and then it's giving me three because this is technically like a, this is costing me less, right? In my mecha journey, when I start to like upgrade my 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 my, uh, my relics in that section, so it, it helps to just before you go ahead and start start like ah, I'm gonna I see a little exclamation. You know exclamation on on let's say this one right here there's a little exclamation that says hey you have enough right now currently i don't have enough shards i am like woo like i cannot wait to um to do wish week are we in wish week right now no right we're in wish week what are, no we are not in wish week what are, what are we in lotto what <laughs> i don't yeah we're in lotto so i haven't even done my lotto this is tomorrow this is tomorrow I haven't put any effort to know what 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 week we're in. I should know, and I'm 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 not even embarrassed. It's just because I don't need to know it. So it's like useless information. Trust me. When you get a little bit older, you 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 take the information you need and you put it in the front, and the stuff that you don't need, you put it somewhere in the back. If you guys have seen Inside Out two, all the way in the back of the mind. I don't care. So I <laughs> just whatever. Anyway, so I just go if if I have if I had enough. I could go ahead and, and put points into this and then I, I would so then, you know, increase it or whatever, right? But let's say these two are right here and you're like, oh, what choices do I make? Well, come here and then click on this guy right here and then see what your options are. See what your options are. Uh, here's another one, for example, like quarry output. I want this, but the thing is that this guy is just not, it's not there yet. Um, and then I'm going to be getting more of these because I think this is, this one's like, uh, you got, you got to pay for this one. Uh, obtain from Wishbox. Uh, lottery machine, blah blah blah. No, I thought I could have sworn. Oh, wish box. Oh, the um, that's that. Okay, I think it's uh, I, I can't remember exactly which wish box. I think it's one of the wish boxes from from uh, what do you call it? From the actual like wish event. I think that I think that's where I got it because I didn't have it before, and then all of a sudden I I, I saw it there. So anyway, I don't care where I got it as long as I get I I, I get it again because I'm gonna be probably working on stuff like that. Um. Here's another thing that I on the Reddit, on, on, not Reddit, on the comment section, uh, when I did part one, um, I was told that there is a time machine one better than I believe this one, or was it? I think it was. I think it was this one, and um, it was. Let's see, uh, take a look real, real quick. It, it's supposed to be this one. So the the um, the particle collider is supposed to be like better, and and yes, it's. Once these guys get the 30, the tech doesn't matter, but it gives you, I would say you would, I would, it doesn't give you the trifecta because it doesn't give you the, the, the max cap, but who cares? No, we don't care about the max cap, like at all. We only care about production, production. And then the, the trifecta being the cap, it's just like icing on the cake that is unnecessary. Like you could, you would still eat a piece of pizza if it didn't have pepperoni on top. That it's just like little pepperonis on top. I mean, I you would enjoy it more, but you, you know what I'm saying. And if you're not a meat lover, picture broccoli or something, or onions. Oh, onions or yeah, food. <laughs> I like food. Anyway, so this is a really really good one. Once I get this one maxed out, I am going to at least to five star because five star you're going to get your oranges and you're going to put them in there, right? So that is that is that is that. So that that was that section that that I missed that one. But anyway, that's not that. <laughs> this is the this is what I this is what I, I I know I should have talked about in the first one, but I'm glad I didn't because it was already a very long video. So I am going to just leave it at this. This is a really nice section right here. Uh, another one you can go into the gene evolution, and then you just do the same thing. Clearly, there's like a lot of relics that I just don't have. A lot of them are just either uh, missing because I don't do lottery one, um, or yeah. That's it's pretty much a lot of them are, are not here because I don't go into lottery one. So I, I, I could use RFs and stuff like that just to get those going. But yeah, like this might hurt. This might actually hurt. I may actually because this is really close to this is really close. Like the RFs, I should have spent them on this. No, OK, the I, I believe there's uh, this week coming up the wish this wish you this wish event week we are going to be allowed to get more uh, colliders. So that's not going to interfere with my RFs. So my RFs might go into the Fu House scripts because I only need one. 
and if I get 40 shards of this, I can get the, the zombie research speed. And honestly, 5.4% plus 5.4% reduced from it or faster is actually going to be amazing considering T8 is coming up. T8, I'm going to be working on T8 pretty soon and it's going to be costing. See, see, see how the process of thinking about like what you should be getting, how it's, how, how, how I, how I do it, how you might want to do it. Uh, it's like that. It's 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 what you prefer, what you what you value, right? And I, I'm I'm sure I've exhausted that quite a bit. Um, here's like your minion stats. Uh, they'll be I, I didn't mean to hit out. Like I didn't mean to go out, go out. Uh, other there'll be other there'll be other things here, and you can just go over them. I'm not gonna go over them because you guys have possibly less or more relics than I do, and at that point you kind of have to just look at your own stuff, your own box, right? Your own your own stuff and make do with that the other one is um the whale stuff the stuff the relics that are behind a paywall uh you may not want to purchase like i, I know you can get this one i already i already got this one this for some reason this one's on sale which is ridiculous i don't don't do that because <laughs> because clearly i have it i have i have it up to this max level so it's 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 not that crazy. Um, let's see. How about this one? This one right here. This one's a little tougher to get. Number output. This one's really good. You can get it on the on the lottery machine once, so it's not that bad. Um, you can get it on Wish Week. This is a a civilization. So when you do Wish Week, if you really want this lumber output and the quarry output, and then these awesome stamps. Hopefully, hopefully, awesome stamps. Awesome stamps. Okay. Uh, grow wonder fungus. That's that's good. And then cap. Okay. So this is the only good really good stamp and then the obvious abilities right here and then the additional bonus of saying uh, you know additional damage let's see what it does when it's awakened oh god damn okay it's good <laughs> it's really good right here and it's a double s you would think it would be a triple s because this stamp well if it had the the the, the output also it would be a triple s 100 but this is really good this one two three four really good positives and these this is a bonus that's a lot of good stuff on this one relic. Uh, 14 bucks, I guess. That's pretty good. It's not my money, man. It's your money. <laughs> you know, uh, you guys go ahead and, and figure out what you guys want to spend your money on. Uh, this guy right here was uh, this this VIP card is forever, which is kind of insane for a game to allow you to buy something that isn't a monthly thing. Some, some some a lot of games actually well you will buy a pack and the pack will be like for a month you get a hundred white tab uh tadpoles right um and then you're like okay i guess that's fine that's all there is that's the best kind of thing this says vip gold card is permanently effective that's awesome enjoy stackable rewards so this was this was purchased for me <laughs> one of you guys i don't i i they didn't i don't remember them wanting to be put out there because they dm me and they said here I'm gonna hook you up and and they, they they I appreciate you I really do I appreciate the fact that you you know you you sent me a gift uh, you I guess you valued my time <laughs> and you said hey uh, I want you to you know purchase this and so somebody bought this for me so I, I thank you for that um, and then I went ahead and bought myself this guy because I am a f I am a huge fan of this one and the daily one the daily one's not here right now but I like the little daily one, the, the the 99 cent one or whatever. You buy that, it's like $7. And that actually gets you um, shards for for certain relics. Um, and it also applies the buff for, I wouldn't say buff, but like it plays off of this guy right here. So it goes into the bond center. And if you go in here, it says you've spent like the $7.99 because of that. So I like that. <laughs> and, I do, and I do that every single time. By the way... I picked awesome this week. This was really good. This was the the only one that was under a hundred, and it hasn't let me down. I think it's going to be pretty pretty damn awesome. Um, <laughs> I mean, you see this one right here is at ninety seven, but I'm already I'm already going off topic. The, okay, so now the last one, the last one. If I can remember which one was the last one. Um, oh, the last one was this guy right here. Um, 
eventually you guys are going to unlock the time machine motherboard if it's in the it's in the domain section i believe it's like a like a like a chip upgrade and then you you, you give it to the, the motherboard and the motherboard goes from like a plain green you see how it's plain green then all of a sudden it gets all like the um the the iron man heads up display the hud stuff that he has uh it looks like this and it's like just like a juiced up version of the motherboard and when you go in here you are going to be allowed to get all of the um the backlog relics that you may have missed may have not even known that you had or like me and i've said this plenty of times like the mini games for example like mini games there's a lot of relics in the mini game section so play them if you want if you get to a certain whatever uh you can unlock this this is pretty good it's a percent one that's that's a really good green one right uh, what's this one? Mutant uh, form tier. This is just HP after you hit, you know, whatever, however many tiers there are, which is nine. I'm, I'm assuming there's going to be more. Uh, Sign-ins. Uh, so that's uh, 60 defense, I think. So that's not too bad. I mean, they're 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 good. They're just good to have. They're, those, those, those relics. There's relics here. There's more stuff here, too. Uh, yeah, like there's just in case you didn't shoot down enough stuff, you'll find stuff here. And then you get into this guy right here. And if you wanted to, you don't necessarily have to wait for them to randomly appear at the shop. Sometimes they have like a limit of when they come out. They'll, they'll like on certain days, uh, I think, uh, is it Wish Week? Wish Week, there's an Eye of Horus at the, at, at the 3,000, you know, stage, right? So it's like 500, 1,000, 1,500, 3,000. And that's where your Eye of Horus is. Uh, where I see, where I see this this weapon come out uh, commonly, where is it? Is it? It's, uh, it should be here. <clears throat> it's probably further down, right? Well, the, the dragon's little fang. I, I I see that a lot when you can get a dragon. I feel like they're they're like, hey, if you you, you just got an, uh, an eye of Horus, why don't you spend ninety nine bucks on on this dragon's little gun or dra draz ghoul fang, the fang? Why don't you go ahead and get the fang? And it's like it's always there, right? So it's like now you don't have to worry about our like random days or whatever random weeks or whenever the hell it comes out you can actually just come over here and buy everything specific this guy man this guy for a hundred dollars i mean five percent five percent crit that i would say okay i would buy this for myself the day i hit my first t9 form i would give myself this gift because by then the crit that five percent is going to be so big it's going to be so like right now it's like five percent I'll, I'll hit like maybe a little bit harder and it's just like the rift is going to laugh at me but if i'm at like a t9 which is going to be bananas like a year or two from now i mean i'm thinking hell i'm going to hit so hard at that just at that five percent you know what i'm saying so there's it's like a little gift for yourself it, maybe maybe not i don't whatever you do whatever you want. <laughs> that's that's just the way I think. And and then you can only buy one of these per every three days. So um, just look at what the, what's in here when when it's available to you, and you just go ahead and and buy something. And and I would prefer you guys buy something that's in the percent range first if it's a relic. Um, there are it there are things in here like um, uh, eat like partner Easter eggs, right? Uh, they'll be like, where the hell is it? it? I know the guy Park Hare is here or some shit like that. It's this guy right here, like this. Don't get this. <laughs> Don't get get this way last. Like nobody uses Guy Park. I I Guy Park's like ability. I I, I swear to God, I told everybody from the start of the game. I, I in my alternate account, I haven't put a single point into this. <laughs> I didn't even max it out. I don't care about that form at all it's so stupid it's so bad it's to me it's so bad it really is so bad and you got you can fight me <laughs> i hate it i think it's the worst and for you to have like this it's fine it, it gives you some points but i would say put it at the end because it just does nothing for you except for give you some basic hard stats where you could go ahead and like let's say in the same in the same area this is all coming from the same partner easter egg i would rather get like this shard i would get the shards for the minions and make my minions have a better skin if that makes sense because it's all in the same bracket right so 
that's that's how I feel about that. And that is what I have for the part two. Uh, uh, hopefully it's nice and short, uh, condensed. I, I think it's short. I don't know. Maybe I went over like 15, 20 minutes already. I don't know. I, I really don't know. But um, if there is a part three, it'll be for either more comments that you guys like questions or whatever. It might be part three quite like only relic questions and answers, right? Because there's going to be more relics. There's going to be a Lotto 3 eventually. There's going to be a civilization. Not civilization. What the hell am I talking about? There's going to be a um, a Wish Week or maybe a Cauldron 2 or some shit where this is going to expand. And we're just going to be allowed to be given more um, more relics. And then we could talk about that then. But for the most part, I think I've covered most of the relics section and stuff like that what you can do with your relics, where you can put them, why you want to put them there. Just just inventory your stuff. Just one day, if you're in a bus and you're going to from, from I don't know, somewhere to somewhere and it's a, like a long trip or you're, you're, you're in a, your, your husband or your wife's car or something or boyfriend, girlfriend or whatever, and they're driving you somewhere really far. And it's like, I hey, just some, look at your relics and be like, okay, what's this one do? What's And then look at the things. Look at the... Uh, Medals for that, okay, cool. And you just look at them. You know what I'm saying? There's, there's, there's also really, really good relics that give you medals. There, 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 there are certain, certain uh, stamps that say plus five. I don't, I don't know if I have one right here. So there are, um, there are stamps that give you metal output. So you got to make sure that, um, like for example, like I, 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 I want it to be in. It, it's currently not strong enough to be in here to give me the S plus, so I it's not in here. It's not in the actual proper one because if I if I take it out, I might lose some points or whatever. But uh, being at twenty, yeah, I would lose a, I, I would lose my S plus ranking. So that's why that one's not there. But when that one becomes S plus or something like that, I can go ahead and put it in there. If you're not at S plus, you definitely want more medals, and then you want to go ahead and put those metal ones, metal producing stamps into the specific um in the specific what do you call it museum that is promoting you and giving you more uh more medals if that makes sense i hope it does because sometimes whew, i am it I, if you guys could see into my mind you guys you know when you're inside somebody's mind you could easily like communicate i would believe like if 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 the person that's in front of you can just send the information over you would see it the way they would see it and understand it the way they understand it if i have a stutter you would not be confused if there was a language barrier you would not be confused because you would just understand my thoughts and i would understand yours and i would i would think that would be an amazing thing to do now i'm not talking about like that Neuralink or some shit like that i'm not talking about things like that i'm talking about like just like if we could just do that if we could just like send our thoughts to each other and be able to like ESP that shit or something so I could just like if I if, if I wanted to sh I'm like man beam you every snail uh, super snail information or knowledge that I had I could just give it to you and you could just be like whoa you know what I said and, and and it'd be cool if I could put it in like in an archived kind of kind of way right so it, I could die but my anybody can tap into my video and then like they could remember or they can tap into my my brainwave as i was giving it to them that would be so awesome it's just a weird little thing that like i've these these thoughts that i've had i'm like it'd be great if you can have like a, a residual like uh moment in in time where you could be like i want to share my feelings and my my thoughts and then all you have to do is just log into that video and you would be able to like grab all that with download it just instantly boom and be, just be like oh my god i've lived this person's like super snail journey <laughs> and oh i know what to do oh shit i gotta you know i gotta course correct or something like that uh but i still like to do it my way but it's like all of a sudden you just meld it into like your own way and it's just like okay cool i i don't have to ask these questions oh i don't have to fall into these pitfalls this has nothing to do with relics but i just wanted to share with you guys a little bit more of myself like I, I kind of tend to do in these videos anyway. I, I kind of just, I talk a little bit. I go, I go off, and I, I think you guys already know that about me. So, uh, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. That is part two. <laughs> if there's a part three, 
the part three will be for the expansion or if you guys leave me like a shitload of answers or questions and answers uh questions uh or just join the discord and uh we're there description hit me with a like comment all that good stuff or not i don't care it doesn't matter I, that's why i usually don't say like comment subscribe uh but above my, my my little thing you can see that it says like comment subscribe so i, I subliminally let you let you guys know also ooh, i'm almost 50 million let's go i think i'm gonna hit 50 million once i hit the uh the lotto machine tomorrow so that's gonna be exciting i will be doing the hoarding tomorrow i'll be editing this today so you guys can see this at some point why am i still talking paste <laughs> holy shit